Scotch game, classical variation, 5.nxc6. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. In the scotch game, d4 gains space in the center and attacks the e5 square twice. x4 opens up the center, and is somewhat forced given that white was attacking the pawn twice, and protecting with d6 doesn't work out. nx d4 recaptures the pawn and centralizes the knight. bc5 develops the bishop to the center and attacks the knight on d4. Nx c6 captures the knight and attacks the queen. Recaptures. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is the last book move. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. That's good. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is best. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to fork pieces. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. That's good. This ignores an opportunity to recapture a piece. It is an inaccuracy. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. This can indicate that a knight was attacked. It is ideal. This develops a piece while also winning a tempo on a rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This deters an assault on a rook that is exposed. It is ideal. This protects a knight who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. This strikes a rival knight. It is quite good. This allows the knight to control more squares. It is best. This strikes the opponent's bishop. That's good. This misses an opportunity to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. That rook earns material if it is captured. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. It is excellent. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. That's fine. It is good. A pawn kicks the opposing knight, forcing it to move or risk being captured. It is quite good. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks a better way to move a bishop to safety. It is a mistake. 
This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This threatens to attack a trapped knight. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. This threatens to win a knight. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to threaten winning a bishop. This permits the opponent to fork pieces. It is a blunder. This forks multiple pieces. This was a game-changing move, giving white a winning position. It is a great move. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This wins a knight. It is good. Sudden a close game that was lost by a mistake. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. That was a well-fought middle game that white got the better of.